<laughs> Been on mute. Great. Uh, so I don't know what everyone's heard or what hasn't heard. Uh, maybe I bumped the button or not. But basically, um, Castle Wolfenstein. Um, I'll, I'll just briefly go through some of the, the tidbits here. Released in 1983 by Silas Warner. Muse Software. Same people who did Space Taxi. Um, the idea is you're an allied prisoner of war. And your goal is to escape the castle. Uh, and you could choose to shoot guards if you want, or you can try to be stealthy about it, which is one of the reasons why this game is considered one of the very first stealth games in history. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, released in 81 for Apple II, uh, 82 Atari 8-bit, 1983 for Commodore, 1984 for MS-DOS. What else? Um, so going briefly through the, the summary again um warner wanted to develop this as a guy running around room shooting things he didn't like that concept he watched the guns of navarone and played the arcade game berserk in the same day and that's what kind of inspired him to combine those two things into this game uh, so you basically have the world war ii setting with the stylistic mechanics of berserk combined with a stealth mechanic as opposed to just run around shoot everything up a uh, very popular game, sold about 50,000 games, but uh, 50,000 copies by 1983. Um, what else? And as you know, because of the you know, of the title, Castle Wolfenstein, this game was the the originator to the entire Wolfenstein franchise that you see out there today. Uh, it is considered one of the longest living. Um, what do they call it now? Longest living video series. As of 2021, there are 13 Wolfenstein games, the most recent of which, Wolfenstein Youngblood and Wolfenstein Cyberpilot, are spin-offs that were released in 2019. Uh, it directly influenced the game Wolfenstein 3D, which was developed by id Software. Um, John Romero stated the original idea was to create a 3D castle Wolfenstein, but he did not have the rights to the game during development. Uh, eventually, id Software bought the rights to use Wolfenstein from Silas Warner. Um, the original concept changed significantly because the developers decided the core of the gameplay would be fast and simple, so features such as the ability to drag and loot fallen enemy soldiers were withdrawn. Of course, in later versions, they'd probably bring those back in. Um, what else? So yeah, when you think about the lineage of this game, it's pretty incredible. Um, this game itself is considered to be one of the first games or video games to implement some sort of a stealth mechanic into it to be um, something that allows the ability or the usage of stealth in the game as opposed to just running around shooting up everything wolfenstein 3d which was inspired by this game is considered to be one of the very first true um popular uh, first-person shooters. So when we talk about first-person shooters like Call of Duty and all these other ones, they all trace their lineage back to Wolfenstein 3D pretty much uh, and all the effects that you see in that game. And maybe someday we'll play that one as well. I don't know. It's a little bit more gory than this one. But yeah, this this is the granddaddy of them all. So we're going to go ahead and try to do this one. I say try because there are some keyboard commands that I don't know if I can get to on this one or not. We're going to give it a go, though. Is it loading? There we go. Oh, what are we going to do here? Why don't we try keyboard? Because I've got the key layout right in front of me here. I can try and use that. Welcome to Castle Wolfenstein, mate. The Nazis brought you here to get information out of you before they kill you. That's what this place is for. If you listen, you can hear the screams. They've already worked me over and I'll never get out alive. But maybe you can with this gun. Blah, blah, blah. Be careful, mate, because every room in the castle is guarded. The regular guards can't leave their posts without orders. But watch out for the SS stormtroopers. They're the ones in the bulletproof vests and they're like bloody hounds. Once they've picked up your trail, they won't stop chasing you. Man, this is going faster than I remember. Uh, one, no one chap who found a whole German uniform and almost sneaked out past the guards. Uh, battle plans for Operation Rheingold are hitting somewhere in the castle. 
They're coming for me. Good luck. Aye! <clears throat> I remember this taking a lot longer to load back in the day. Maybe it's because I was a little bit more impatient when I was younger. Okay, so, um, what we have here is the first room, and my movement is controlled by these keys, apparently. Uh, let me make sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> so that's what happens when you run into a wall, you get this little... Yeah, it just messes up everything. Alright, so we have up... We have down, we have stop my movement, which is weird. Okay. All right, so we can um, aim as well, I think. I have to aim at this somehow. Oh, that's that way, that way, that way, that way. That's to put the gun away. That's to do this. How do I aim to the right, though? Ah! Doesn't let me do that. L is to holster your weapon. But this should let me do it this way, right? Oh goodness, it's shift. Oh goodness, it's shift to do that. Alright, uh... Bullets! You to use. Getting bullets, you have ten bullets. Now you notice that there was a timer on the chest that says getting bullets and it's like three seconds. That's the thing that people were complaining about sometimes. That timer can be really, really ridiculous when it comes to like trying to open a chest. You'll see that as we kind of go along here a little bit. So let's try and move without dying here. Search the body. Nothing on the body. Moving this guy and getting him to stop is another thing. Oh yes, we'll use the grenades. Now we have one grenade. Two grenades. Three grenades. We should only have three grenades, yes. Okay, so we're going to holster the weapon. Uh... Can we steal his uniform? I don't think we can. Because there's nothing on him. It is possible to steal a guard's uniform, but I guess this one doesn't let you do it. Wow, this is so weird. Alright, here we go. Up into the level. Wow, another dead guard. <laughs> Somebody's killing these guards for us. That's great. <laughs> um, one of the things, one of the reasons why I hesitated to um, play this game originally was because of the um, the paraphernalia that's associated with Nazism, which of course I abhor. It tastes awful, the sauerkraut. Yes, truer words have never been spoken. Rotwurst, yes, why not? It tastes good. Let's go search this guard here. Three bullets. Yeah, I can't get any more, I guess. Let's holster that gun. I should save this thing if I can. Let me see if I can figure out how to save it. Nope. Uh, what's the key to save? Orange. Saving the game. There we go.
Probably be better if I just did a snapshot at this point. All right, good. Resume where I left off, please. So I was a little bit reluctant to play this game because of the symbols and things that you might see in this game. But then I took a look around Twitch and saw people were playing all iterations of Wolfenstein willy-nilly. There's no coverage of, of any of the swastikas or anything like that. So I'm like, well, you know, it, it should be okay then. Because as long as we're not promoting it as, you know, what, uh, what they stand for, then I think we're going to be okay. All right, so we got to go this way, and then we got to go down. Let's see where this takes us. Hopefully not straight into a guard. Because I don't have a bulletproof vest on yet. I am going to take a quick break. I will be right back, folks. Stay tuned. Okay, I am back. Uh, it looks like our game is not. I've got a CPU jam it's saying here. I wonder if I can get out of this. Uh, I'm not seeing a way to unjam this. So, we are going to have to... Looks like I'll do a reset here. Let's do an auto, get back into this. Had to say goodnight to a little one. But we are back and we'll go into this. I did save the game. Let's see if it brings us back to that. Good. Let's see if it can or not. Worst case, we just bring a new one up. Let's see.
So I spent most of my work day today chasing down a software defect. It took me all day to do it too. All right, we are back. Let's see if we can do stuff. Let's leave these keys here. Let's see if it lets me go this time. <laughs> I ran right into a guard. How great is that? Did I mention that the dungeon is procedurally generated? Which means you could get just about anything. We'll start a new game and we'll, we'll try this again. Control N. We'll do a... Yeah, F1's fine because it's a private. So by the way, the rank private means that if you beat the game, you can go up to the next rank, making the game harder for you. So this allows you to do that. Standard issue gun. Each clip holds 10 bullets and it's fully loaded. Still playing around here with Stable Diffusion. So when it comes to the SS Stormtroopers, which are the ones that have the SS on their chest there, um, those guys need a grenade if you're going to kill them, or you can just try and run away from them. Because they have the bulletproof vests. You can get their bulletproof vests, which does help you, you know. Um, you cannot impersonate a soldier uh, that's an SS... Well, let me put it this way. If you're in front of an SS stormtrooper, you can't impersonate a soldier. If you're in front of a normal German soldier, you can impersonate either a regular soldier or an SS stormtrooper soldier, uh, and they will leave you alone. So it's the SS stormtroopers you got to watch out for. So you can try to unlock a chest using the normal like unlock way. You can also shoot at chests, uh, but some of the chests sometimes have bullets or grenades in them. So if you do that and you shoot at the chest, it's going to explode and that could be bad for your health. Let's see where it leaves us this time. Okay, so we have, huh, two, let's see, we have a door there. So let's go ahead and do something with that door. Locked and no key. So we should be able to shoot it, I believe. Uh, what's the key to shoot again? Um, action key, 10 bullets, that's my inventory. Uh, how do you shoot in this? Hmm. 
Hold on, I gotta bring up the keyboard map just to make sure I've got this right. Input keyboard. Show me the picture. Darn it. Uno momento. Oh, maybe it's end or the underscore. Let's try that. Um, oh, yeah, it's end. Let's try positional instead. So that should mean that this one does it. Well, that's not working. Um... So I can't go get those chests because I have no key for them. Um, it's still weird trying to get used to these controls. They're not your typical WASDs. Oh, look at this. All right. Uh, we only have four bullets here. I think I'm going to try and shoot that guard to the right there. Oh, now they're going crazy because they heard a gunshot. Uh, hurry up. Five bullets and keys. Great. Got him. I love the scream, man. It's hilarious. Uh, let's search. One bullets and keys. So keys are there. Great. Uh, do I have to aim at this? <laughs> and here's the timing thing I was talking about. It'll take you 200 seconds to open this chest. So I could wait here for this. Uh, and on a normal Commodore... Obviously, the seconds aren't going the same rate as normal seconds here, but it's still, some of these chests can take like hundreds of seconds to open, and you're like sitting there like, oh, great, now we got to wait for this. Um, so it gets a little frustrating. That's why people complained a little bit about how long it would take to open a chest. I do like this little thing that you can do. Watch this. So if we go like this, and then go back down, and try to open it, it'll resume where you left off. So it's not going to restart at 240 seconds or whatever it was. So we're going to open this one. We'll go back into the other room and see if I can get to those other two chests to see if there's anything good in there. Hopefully it's not sauerkraut and bratwurst. Let's see. Bullets. Sure, we'll use the bullets. Okay, so now we got a full thing of bullets here. Good to know. Go back. I'm assuming down the stairs? No, maybe up the stairs. Who knows? Uh, let's point this way. We'll move this way. Trying your keys. Nine seconds. It's open. Yay! <clears throat> now again, we could shoot at the lock and it would, you know, open the chest a lot faster. But at this point, I kind of want to play a little safe here.
I don't remember how far I made it in this game originally when I was a kid. Um, I don't think I ever made it to the point where I escaped the castle. Cannonballs! Let's try and use some cannonballs. Why are there cannonballs in a castle? Too heavy to lift. Yeah, no duh. Let's open this chest up, see what this has. Maybe it has some grenades. Preferably a uniform. <clears throat> Leave from Milch. Sure, why not? These are all like extraneous things that you can't use, I don't think. Oh, apparently it's uh, like schnapps or something. Cool. Uh, let's put this away. I imagine with some practice I'll get used to the controls a little bit, but... <clears throat> did I search these bodies? I believe I did. One bullets. One bullets. Okay, great. Um, we're going to do a save. I can't believe I don't have Castle Wolfenstein in here. Or, I mean, beyond Castle Wolfenstein in here. I only have the original. I have to work on that. So we're going to go this way. And down this passageway. See where this takes us. Hopefully not directly into another guard. Uh-oh. Um... All right, he's just patrolling that place. So as long as I stay quiet and don't shoot my weapon or something, I should be okay. Empty? Wah. Poodoo. I don't know how they do the eyesight mechanisms on the guards, like what they can and can't see. My assumption is they didn't have things like angled, you know, sight, a line of sight type of thing. Like, for example, he could technically see me through the doors like that. Um, I suspect it's like if you're in the area with him and he's a direct line of sight, then it's probably something that you have to watch out for. All right, since he's not bothering us, we're not going to bother him. Get ready to go here. Again, somebody is not going to bother us, most likely. So yeah, the, the swastikas are the thing that kind of worried me when I wanted to play this game. I was like, I don't want to promote that sort of thing. Other than that, though, you can really, like... There's really not much about this game that's violent, other than, you know, of course, shooting the guards, but even that's not gory or anything. So, I mean, in terms of today's violence, I mean, this game is kind of tame by comparison. Yet, I love the setting of this game. You you actually feel with the, the dark black background, the brown walls, you, you kind of feel like it's part of a castle with the brick layers and stuff. Um... You can hear the tap, tap, tapping of the guard's shoes on the, the hard floor, you know? You can hear the guard's voices when they come after you, you know? And they say, Achtung, or, you know, halt or stuff. Oh, yes, we'll definitely make sure we have grenades. Okay, uh, let's move down. Go ahead and open this one. Bullets, yeah, great. So we have bullets and we have grenades. All right.
So we have two ways of going now, other than the way we came. We can go up north or we can go to the west. So before we do anything, I'm going to save this where it is. Great. So now we should prepare to probably shoot this guard because there's no way around him otherwise. Uh, we could sneak up north, I suppose, but why not just get rid of him here? Ah, oh, I hit the wrong key. <laughs> oh, great. Why don't we do that again? Let's save ourselves some time here, shall we? Ah, oh, wrong keys. Always the death of me here. Problem is the save key and the shoot key are right near each other on the keyboard, unfortunately, and I don't have a way of mapping those back to something else. Hear him say, HALT! And then he just screams because he, I just shot him. Let's see what he's got on him. Seven bullets and keys. All right, uh, we're going to aim up, and we're going to try the north passage first. Hmm. There is no reason to open that door, so we'll go this way. Oops. Ran into a wall. While well, that's doing that, let's get this set up. There is a, an immense amount of challenge, I think, with this game, too. Because not only do you have to get used to the idea of using either the joystick or the keyboard controls, you have to be able to, to move through each level and do it quickly enough so that you don't get shot and you don't get captured. Uh, you have to watch out for the SS guards and stuff. Ugh, I need to use Leap from Milch. I'm already drunk enough as it is. So... Um, on top of all this, like even if you do complete the mission and you know get the war plans and get out of the castle successfully, you can do it all over again at a harder level. So that's the beauty, I think, of this game, is that it continues to offer a challenge. Which is not bad for a game that's 40 years old. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is... That's bad. <laughs> Kaput. Uh, let's go ahead and load from where we left off which is unfortunately way back here. So we're going to go get this guy again. Can't get any uniforms for some reason. This time I'm going to go left. Great. <laughs> Even better. Even better. Let's try this again, time slipper. Goodness gracious. They don't make it easy. Oh, I got shot. I hit the wrong button. Fun stuff, man. That's three, de three deaths in a row right there.
Gotcha. Oops, I ran into a wall. <laughs> cool. Let's go up this way. This should be same thing, right? Yeah. So, interestingly enough, it does remember, I guess, when you do open a chest, which is, again, another weird thing here is I saved the game, technically the snapshot, before I opened that chest, but now it thinks I opened the chest already. That's very interesting. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do this one without dying. Um, we'll go ahead and save this one. It's going to be a little tricky to get through this. All right. Uh, go. We're running. Shrine Hund. Hmm. That guy's been alerted. Let me see if I can get rid of him. <clears throat> uh, you know what? I'm going to distract him and get him out this way. Let's do this. Get him to think he's over here. Come on, over this way. He's searching. Let's see if he thinks about it. He's going all over the place. He doesn't know how to get out of this room. I might have to go and shoot him this way. Let's see if I can time this right. Oh! <laughs> nope, I can't. Oh, jeez. Here we go again. I'm going to take a chance and aim this way. Oh, there's only... Oop. That was interesting. Didn't run into the guard. Alright, let's see if I can lure him out this time. Come get some. There you are. Oh, you opened the door. Where's he going this time? Got him. Great. Search the body. Great. More keys, more bullets. Still can't get a darn uniform off of these guys. So Muse Software did wind up releasing a follow-on sequel to this game called Beyond Castle Wolfenstein, I believe. Is it called Beyond? Or, yeah, it's called Beyond Castle Wolfenstein. Um, the graphics and gameplay are quite similar. Uh, there are updates. You can use a knife in there. You can bribe guards. There's actually a pass system that you have to use, like you have to give the guard the correct pass in order to get by. Um, so they did offer a little bit more complexity to the game uh, with Beyond Castle Wolfenstein. We'll try and play this in a future, you know, streaming date. Overall, though, I do enjoy this game. Um, I like... Like I said, I like the feel of the game. It does feel gritty. It feels um, like you're you're you know set into the game. It's not like bright and cheery. You know, it's, it actually kind of feels like a castle, even though it's just a black screen and brown bricks. You know, it kind of they at least accomplish that little feeling that you want with this. You know, um, what else do I like about this game? I like the sound effects. I like the, the little voice synthesis that they threw in it. That's a nice little touch. wasn't necessary, but they did it. Um, 
it, it works well. What else? Um, I do like the little mechanics they add about the stealth and about the um, whether or not you can impersonate German guards and stuff. The, all these little things are nice, in my opinion. Um, do I want to go up there? I don't know. It's going to be tricky to try and do this. Let me save it first. Let me try and go up there and see if I can take those guys out. Try and be prepared for this. Got one. Ah. No. <laughs> darn it. I always hit the wrong darn key. All right, let's try this again. Um, aim up. Let's not go into the wall. How about that? Oh, now I still have a dead guard here. So weird. That's got to be something that... Yeah, I... you coming after me or what? Gotcha. It's got to be an artifact of the game itself, like when it does the save versus the, the snapshot. I don't know how they do that, but it's interesting that it remembers your progress. Alright. Um, let's get this done. I would love this thing to show me a German uniform or show me um, the war plans. That would be kind of cool. Medals. Wonderful. Let's get a medal. <laughs> hmm. I don't see a way to... Is there any way to steal a uniform? I guess it's got to be in a chest in this game. I remember being able to take them off dead guys' bodies, but whatever. That's probably beyond is what I'm thinking of. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here we go again. Get back into it. Let's go. Hmm. What the? That seems like a bug. Let me go back through there. Oh dear. No. <laughs> what the heck was that? 
There was a room there that had nothing but stairways. How does that happen? Let's see if that shows up again or not. It did it again. Weird. That is very weird. I've never seen that before. Well, let's open this door up. So I think what I might do is try to open the bottom chest. Uh, and if it's longer than, say, 60 seconds, I'll shoot it with a gun. So we can see what it's like to make it, um, you know, be a lot less time than this. I figured that bottom chest is far enough away that I won't get hit by a blast or something. Great, all that for bullets. Oh good, this one's only going to take about 30 seconds. Great. Rotwurst, yummy. Rotwurst tastes awful, oh boy. Must be some rotten bratwurst. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this one out. Oh, no. Let's try and shoot it. Now, let's see what it does. Yeah. Let's try again. Come on. All right, so we got it from 190 to 130 seconds. Please let it be a uniform. Please let it be the war plans, something, anything. Oh, for goodness sakes. All the useless stuff. Sauerkraut. Why are the Nazis keeping sauerkraut and bratwurst in chests like that? Mixed in with their grenades and bullets. No wonder they lost the war. Show me. Oh, good. I don't need either of you guys, so let's just skip you. Here we go again. This feels like it's a bug. I mean, this is like MC Escher's staircase, you know? <clears throat> Apparently I can't go through there. That's got to be a bug in the procedural generation, I'm guessing. That is not supposed to happen. The problem is that the other side has something like this, too. I don't know if we can get past this.
And now it looks like it's going to jam up on me, I bet. Because it's still trying to figure out this crazy room. So it's still, according to the emulator, it's still trying to load something from track 20. But it, it's taking an awful long time to do that. Let's try a warp, see if that helps at all. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. So let's do a reset. We're going to start new on this one. This just doesn't seem to want to work correctly here. I'm hoping that the snapshot saves aren't messing with this somehow. It would be crazy if it did. I'm going to warp this. I said we'll warp this. Okay. Keyboard. Ah, oh, darn it. Let me try that again. What I want to do is start a new game. So maybe we can get rid of the faulty levels in there. Okay, so return. Control N. Oh boy, what's Control N on this one? Um, crap. <laughs> what the? Oh, what was the key control then? Um. Now I gotta look that up. Invice CTRL key. Which one is that? It's probably one of these keys over here, I'm guessing. This isn't telling me. Well, poodoo. How do I reset this then? <laughs> 
This is frustrating. That's not what I'm looking for. It's not, wait, this isn't... Uh, why am I looking at wind vice? I should be looking at... Um, What's this thing called again? GTK vice? Let me try switching back to Symbolic, just for a moment. See if that makes a difference. Yes, it does. OK. Um, F1, keyboard, and then let's go to this and go back to Positional. So the idea of. The, the CTRL key in Commodore language, basically, is um, it was on a different location of the keyboard than you have your typical control key on PCs today. I believe it was on the cursor keys over on the right-hand side. Getting to that, though, I think it involved a combination of hitting like the Commodore key or something like that or a shift key to get to it. So... When you use the symbolic um, emulator, it's meant to, like if you're using, if they ask you to use CTRL, that's mapped to the control key on your keyboard. If you use positional, then you got to remember where it was on the Commodore keyboard and try and emulate that same keystroke combination. I can't remember what that was, so I went with symbolic. Now I'm switching back, and that's going to get me what I want. some reason sometimes when I wear a baseball cap my glasses and my headset it just leads to a headache So let's see, today is Monday night. We do have a stream uh, Wednesday night and Thursday night. I'm hoping uh, we'll do some um, Pool of Radiance. We'll revisit with the new party and see how well we do there. Thursday night, we'll probably do the World of Warships, typical thing there. I'm just tinkering around right now with Stable Diffusion, doing some different model merges. Trying to play around with it. It's probably not good, though, because I have so many so many different models, so many different old waste files i got to go through and clean up. I'm watching the score of the Monday Night Football game. It looks like the Chiefs are up 17-7 to on the Eagles. That's I'm happy with that. I do need my Cowboys to try and catch them if they can. I don't know if they'll be able to, but... Alright, here we go. Let's try this again. Let's see what this has. 
Oh yeah, we'll take those grenades. We're going to have to get rid of this guy in order to get out of here anyways. So... Let's go here first. Because I don't know if we have any bullets in this gun. Foxfire, are you um, are you hosting Thanksgiving where you're at, or are you going somewhere? I know I have to go to my in-laws. Uh, typically, we go there every year. It's usually a good time. So you're hosting. Okay, gotcha. I hope you get the whole family together and stuff, and I hope it's a good time. Um, usually when we go to our in-laws, it's a fun time. It's been a while since I've seen them, and yet they only live about 10 minutes down the road, which is kind of a shame. Nice, Zaldra will be there. That's excellent to hear. Oh, look, uniforms. I need this. Watch this. We're now wearing a uniform. How about that? Now, this should fool him. I should be able to walk without the gun and just kind of walk right by him if I don't run into him. Let's see if I can do this. <clears throat> Well, he didn't catch me. That was a little sloppy, but I did it. This is interesting. Now that we've got the uniform, that changes a lot here. So now we don't have to go shooting everybody. We can just kind of walk around and hopefully not get caught. We don't have a key. We could use a grenade to blow up the door. Or I could go back and shoot that other guard and try and get the keys off of him if he's got them. Oh, for goodness sakes. Why do you keep giving me bratwurst? All right, uh, let's try a grenade. Boom. Oh, what the heck. Now that brought it down by about 60 seconds. We'll take that. I had a lot of fun on Saturday night. Uh, I do want to say that, Foxfire. Oh, look, schnapps. Let's drink that. <laughs> I had a lot of fun playing on Saturday night. Um, even though there was, there was like half the party there. That was a challenge. It was definitely a challenge to try and get through everything and manage the resources and stuff. Yeah. I'm I'm certain our, our other party members say the same thing there. It was it was definitely interesting. Um we couldn't have done it without the NPC, obviously. There was no way we could have done that without the NPC. Uh, let's see. Let's I don't want to save this thing. I'm afraid it's gonna screw up the game now. Let's hope we don't run into any more SS guys. How about that?
Getting to that chest is going to be tricky. I might just shoot that guy. It was interesting, though, trying to manage our spells and manage our heals and keep our buffs going while we were trying to get through the, you know, the church and stuff like that. So, you know, clearing the rooms and everything. Um, and trying to be able to handle uh, the number of enemies that we did face. Um, it seemed like there were a lot there for our little four-man party there. So it was really kind of interesting to see that. <sighs> yeah, all that for bratwurst. You are lame. Five bullets and keys. Yeah, you were telling me that the APs are built for four players. Um, still, I, I just felt like with the way that this campaign has gone, it's always felt a little bit harder than a four-player campaign. I don't know why. Uh, hold on, I don't want to shoot anybody here. Let's just walk in. Fraulein. Open these boxes up. Let's see what's inside. <clears throat> yeah, I know. We, we have been a little bit behind, huh? You know, there's some things that we missed that probably, you know, we missed out on XP and stuff, which, yeah, it happens. Um... Overall, though, I think I've enjoyed playing this character in this campaign, um, and I enjoy the fact that I've been almost, you know, perfectly true to what I envisioned for this character. Uh, she was never going to be like a super duper DPS dealer. Um, I wanted her to be more of a sword fighter, and she's become that now, um, especially with the parry and repost and stuff. The uh, the versatility is, is like what Nick was talking about is like she's versatile and that I think is enough of a compliment because that's the kind of a character I did want to play with this one is a versatile character, you know, one that can kind of do a little bit of everything. <clears throat> Great. All right, so we have grenades. We can go up or we can go left. I'm going to go left. Hope for the best. Oh, hello there. Do, 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 do. Well, what do we want to do here? Uh, let's see. We could shoot them, which is probably the wise thing to do. Because we want to get to the chest. We want, we don't want to leave a chest unopened in case it may have the war plans. And if two guards are guarding this one, it's possible that the war plans could be in here. So let's try and get lucky here and shoot. I'll let this guy come around here. He'll figure it out. think. Or maybe not. Oh, there you are. You got your gun out, cutie. Oh, he surrenders. Shoot him anyways. 
Yeah, I know it goes against the Jimmy Convention, sue me. <clears throat> the reason why I did shoot him is because I think if you if he surrenders to you and then you put your gun away, I think he tries to get the jump on you, and I didn't want to mess around with that. Yay, schnapps. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's go, I guess, up and then down. Hope for the best. Oh, look at all these guys. Wow, this is a whole lot of nothing over here. Whoops, I didn't want to go that way. Let's go back this way. Stepping fools. Still locked. Oh, I can't go this way. All right. Um, could go around, I guess. Great having a door there. <laughs> and we're back here. So I think I went this way already, didn't I? I haven't seen a stairway out of here yet. <laughs> hey, Zaldra. Um, I'm assuming he's not going to be able to play on Thursday evening if he is with you. Because he will not be at his PC, most likely. Oh, God. So apparently it's something with this game, I'm guessing. Hmm. Well... We need to shoot these guys to open this chest. Oof. I still can't get these controls right. I'm going to assume he won't be available unless he were to leave, like, right after dinner or something. Which I certainly wouldn't consider doing, because I like sticking around and hanging around for the company. Not to mention dessert. Let's see, what do we leave off with this one? do 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 I do need to get on my Christmas shopping, get started on that so I don't have to go running around later on. I do not want to do anything the week before Christmas. That's my plan. My plan is to, I've got that week off. I don't want to do anything Christmas related, like in terms of shopping, running errands, if I do, it's just very minimal stuff. I want to be able to just enjoy that whole week before Christmas with my grandkids. That's my goal. We'll see if it happens. Who knows? I'm 
shouldn't have had the gun out, but that's okay. That's fine. We're good. So he's going to go there. I need to check these things out. Oh, for goodness sakes. A lot of useless stuff in these chests. Certainly not doing, going to do the Black Friday thing. I don't believe in that. Um, I mentioned that last night. I used to do it. I used to do the the whole Black Friday shopping thing, try and get it, but take advantage of some you know excellent deals and stuff. But I've just seen people go so crazy over the shopping aspect of that, and and they they become almost inhuman sometimes, just the way they act. You know they. You hear stories about people getting trampled at Walmart and stuff. I'm like, guys, come on, man. We're still human beings. Let's take care of each other, you know? Just take care of each other. That's why I won't do it. I'll, I'll, if I do any shopping, it might be on the weekend, not just on Friday. Oh, my goodness. This is just... I think I'm stuck. Oh, I guess I can go down there. Interesting. Let's see if this actually works. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to call it. Oh, well, that's... Alrighty then. <laughs> I am back where I started. How did that happen? I don't know, but okay. Strange. Let's see if we can find... <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Is this going to put me right back in that room? <laughs> I don't know how to get out of here. That's a wall. That's a wall. Um, if I go back the way I came, that was what jammed things up in the first place. If I go down this way, it's going to put me back in that room. Let me go up this stair and see if this takes... This may not take me back to the same room. No, it won't. Okay. So we've got this room here now. Uh, how do I want to ambush these guys? Let's see. I kind of want to hit that guy there. Let's do it this way. As he's going away, I want to get him. Got one. Oh, he got me. That guy's a quick draw. Well, now, that was fun. Um, I don't know if I want to keep doing this. At least not tonight. I might call this one early, because I don't know if I want to get into Hacker 2 yet. I don't have it downloaded. <sighs> I don't... Hmm. I think I'm going to call this one early. 
only because I don't feel like the game is playing right. I feel like that mix of stairways and walls room, that area there, that's not supposed to happen. So I got a feeling there's something going on with this game. I may try and get a different version of this that I know works. So um, I might revisit this one again in the future uh, just to see if I can get through it. Uh, again, it just acted kind of weird based on the way we were doing the snapshots and stuff. I may dig into this a little bit if I really want to go back to it. Um, we'll probably do Beyond Castle Wolfenstein, see if that's a little bit more stable. Um, that'll be a different gameplay mechanic anyways, so that'll be interesting to check out. So, um, so that's going to do it for me tonight. Um, take care of yourselves, guys. I will see you all Wednesday evening. We'll probably get back into Pool of Radiance. And Thursday night, again, will be hopefully World of Warships. Um, you know, maybe we'll change it up a little bit on Thursday night. Who knows? Uh, it all kind of depends on how I'm feeling anyways. I may or may not stream stuff, so we'll see. Have yourselves a good night. Have yourself a good night, Fire, uh, Foxfire. Appreciate you just joining the stream and everything. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Bubbles up. 21st Century Jedi signing off tonight. I will see you all hopefully Wednesday evening. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.